Vandaan, I have a machine gun. Check, check. Ho, ho, ho. Well, ho, 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 and Merry Christmas, agents. First of all, let me apologize. I've been sitting on this video for over a week. It's like, I'll get things, I'll get ideas in my head. And I'm like, oh, I want to make this video, this video, and this video. And I come back to this program, and I still got this one queued up, still waiting to, to get it out the door. So, um, this one's going to be a bit of a, just, I'm just going to ramble. Uh, the main point of this one is to talk about the build I was running. Somebody asked what the build I was running in the, the last video was. So I tried to make this one to showcase it. There's a whole bunch of points I wanted to put in, but the holidays happened. So Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to everybody. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. We got a lot of interesting news in the game. And as of recently, it's like <laughs> the game is trying to charge people $26 for this, uh, this Hunter outfit or whatever the case may be. This game is a hot mess right now. I don't know when they're gonna implement the changes with this project Resolve. I did the manhunt, that shit was bugged out, it was like, you know, I could, I, I had to meet Mel Arnold, I guess I did it in somebody else's game or something, but I went back and redid it only to find out you don't even kill this dude, like, uh, you know, he, some chick drops some mortar on his head and it, you know, pushes his head through his butthole or whatever, you know what I mean, it was like, uh, it was pretty underwhelming, I'm not really concerned with all the lore in this game because for me, this game doesn't have a ton of lore, I'm not like, all wrapped up in the storyline to say the least right it's just a shooter it's a looter shooter with too much loot and too many ways to shoot so that's let me just get that out of the way right so I don't know the direction that the devs are trying to go with with the game um, I did see a video on YouTube the other day interestingly enough with the first 15 minutes or 30 minutes of uh, Heartland right it was like some found footage stuff but it was definitely Heartland that it looked like trash hot trash but, you know, it could get better if it ever does drop. It's like been four years in the making. And uh, that, that uh, The Last of Us, that the game that like <laughs> duped all the people on Steam, that joint looked better than what I saw from the Division Heartland. I was like, oh, this shit, this shit corny. But anyways, I digress. Um, yeah, so the build that I run, and I'm gonna make, that's what the next video is supposed to be about, is basically explaining why I don't run Strikers and going a little bit more in depth to it. And the moral of the story being, as a, as a five, when, when you run heroic five directives, um, and you get used to it plus glass cannon, strikers just never really matches up because you lose a ton of damage on the front end. And I trust me, I put this together, and let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, but the build I put together to show for the strikers, it's the, the four piece strikers with a GS, <laughs> a GS obliterate chest. And I can either rock it with a coyote's mask or a, uh, a Seska mask. You let me know which one I should do. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you both. I'll show you guys. Strikers is like a weird thing. There's some weird stuff about Strikers players too, man. And I might as well, since I got a couple minutes here, I might as well rant it off. Like, as doing my research for Strikers, right? Because I used to have a Strikers build back in the day, and I just didn't like the loss of damage up front. Like, cut your damage in half in the front if you're used to running a build like I do. And on five directives, that Fog of War is the worst one, right? Like, Fog of War is, is will get me killed right now because I'm just narrating this clip, right? Some people say it's the, you know, pistol arrow. No, no, no. You can get pistol ammo super easy. You just pistol somebody down. When you're running a DPS build, it's like a few shots. That Fog of War will get you screwed, though. But, um, yeah, so I don't like the fact that um, this project Resolve, it's basically doing away with gear sets. For the most part, that's what it looks like to me. Let me know if you think it's anything different. But by buffing that third, um, the third attribute that they did, or the third brand set bonus, it seems like they targeted a lot of the green gear sets. So, like, why run uh, Foundry Bulwark, for example, if you can get more armor regen running three pieces of Gilligard or whatever the case may be? Something along these lines, you know. And with this underwhelming manhunt and. Uh, all the stuff they're putting in the game right now, I don't really see why anybody really is, um, unless you're a new player, but I, I can't see why your your player with, let's say 500 hours in or, or 300 hours, whatever the case may be, um, really has any desire to farm for a new build, right? Like, what do you, because they're not getting we're not getting any content that justifies having to make any new type of build. Basically, you're running around uh, doing the same stuff and 
if they're looking to make your farm a new build to do it with. Basically, it's, it comes down to that. So let's get into the build that I'm running here. I'm going to be running the gunner spec. The primary weapon is going to be the iron lug. I got it up to 19, so it's at 140k. The, um, the mask I'm going to run is a Providence. I'm going to be running three pieces of that for headshot, crit chance, and crit damage with a crit damage mod in it. The chest is going to be a Providence Perfect Glass Cannon, also with a crit damage mod in it. Holster is going to be Grupo Sombra for the added 15% critical hit damage. The knees are going to be the Fox's Prayer Named Overlords for the damage to target out of cover. That's always helpful. Uh, the gloves are going to be the, uh, the contractor's gloves for the damage to armor, plus they're going to give me 10% LMG damage, and we'll round it out with the backpack that's the gift. But you can use the regular uh, vigilance on this. Gift doesn't make a difference. But that's also going to have a crit damage mod. So on this build, I got 44 chance and 213 damage. You can actually put this to, you can get it to 60 and, you, let's say, 6200 if you run a Cheska backpack. I just happen to like it like this because I like the upfront damage. So like I said, if you guys want to push the crit chance up on this, just go ahead and put a Cheska backpack on in place of the third Providence. So I'm still going to roll Vigilance on the Cheska backpack. And that's going to put me up to 60% chance and it'll drop me down to 180 something percent critical hit damage. Now either of these are fine, it depends on uh, what you want more of, but I still like the, I'll, I'd probably go with the 44 and 213 just because I want more punch. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's 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 a player's choice. If you're into running um, five directives and you want to make it six, throw on Perfect Glass Cannon. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't really kill you in one shot. And you kind of get accustomed to how much damage you can take before you got to take cover. Like, I'm, it, as you can see here, right? So I'll take damage. It's my last armor kit. I'm still going to finish the control point. I'll let the gameplay footage roll. But it's, it's basically uh, just keeps you on your toes a little bit. It does provide a little element of excitement, um, what's left in the game. At this point, I'm kind of over it, to be honest with you guys. It's, uh, I, I'm just, I was always looking for new missions, like a map pack. You know, um, That's always what I've been interested in. Not, not really making new builds, unless I have new modes um, or missions to play them in. I'm not really a big fan of the, the cookie cutter stuff. Like, Incursion's alright, you know, an Incursion you can run, you know, that's like one place I'd probably run Strikers. Bar that, there's not really much I'm going to run Strikers in, for example. Uh, I, I like playing on the edge, but it is a fantastic build for newer players, especially if you're um, if you're trying to improve your... I mean, it's a cover-based shooter, right? So, it, you know, I like to play utilizing cover and being a little bit more tactical. Um, but that's, that's me, to each their own. I'm going to put out another video on... Uh, the strikers versus classic DPS to show people in depth why for a player who plays with this kind of style uh, it's it, strikers is not a benefit to me in, in the slightest and I'm not really going for damage porn like if I run a mission I'm not necessarily out to out damage somebody and a big problem I have with the strikers players is like when, whenever I catch them in one of my maps they're always just trying to run up to the spawn point with a shield out in a mad rush to keep their stacks up but it's it, you know at that point you're like wait a minute how you you know if if you go to a spawn point whip out your shield and nobody else can do damage yeah you're definitely going to have the most damage in the map that's for sure and then if you got like four people shooting and four of them or three of them are running strikers then the target's not going to be up long enough for you know for anybody for all for everybody to build their stacks if that makes sense uh, because the game isn't that hard and they don't have a, a legendary map setting and that's one of the biggest drawbacks Minus them not giving us new content was just the way that they really fumbled the ball, I think. Um, because the game is beautiful, but it gets it gets repetitive fast. And in that sense, I think they could have made a ton of money by doing like a like a map pack, you know, like four new maps for whatever thirty or forty bucks twice a year. But it seems like they're making more money with cosmetics. And for a new player coming in, there is a lot of stuff in the game. But uh, yeah, for, for veteran players, it, it gets it just gets repetitive. But anyways, let me stop babbling. Uh, thanks very much, guys. Happy New Year to everybody. Like and subscribe. I'll catch you on the next video, and I promise it'll come out very soon. I'm working on it now. I just wanted to get this one out of the way so I can actually get to work on the next one. But I've been enjoying holiday time. It is what it is. So 
Take care, guys. Catch you in a couple days. Have a good one.